Hi, I'm Corey Walmsley. I'm CEO of Aurora Corealis Publishing. I'm an author of 10 books, including an award-winning book, Braving the Shore. And I'm also a writing coach. And I want to kind of get this out there because there, I know that whenever people are writing their books, they think that the first thing they need to do is sit down and just start writing. Um, and I know that is advice that some people give. And I, you know, if that works for you, that's fine. But honestly, I think that's terrible advice. Um, you want to figure out what you want to write before you start writing. Um, it's It would be like if you walked in the kitchen and you just turned on the stove and threw chicken on there and dumped pickles in and just whatever you could grab and dumped it in. And then you went, what the hell am I making? Um, you have to have a recipe first, right? Um, and as an entrepreneur, a lot of people who are, you know, coaches, speakers, uh, uh, other leaders, non nonprofit leaders, those kind of people, um, that's not their wheelhouse. Their wheelhouse is whatever it is that they are doing, their zone of genius. And they feel like, okay, now I'm expected to do this other thing over here, this book. And how am I going to be able to do my zone of genius and write a book and make sure that the book is actually good? So what I'd like you to do instead of just sitting down and writing or just, you know, trying to figure it all out, um, step back and say, what do I want this book to do? Because that's going to be the most important thing. It's not going to do what you want it to do if you don't figure that out to begin with. It's like if you're throwing a baseball, um, I don't throw a lot of baseballs, but I do know how to throw a ball. Uh, so if you're throwing a baseball, you point, right? Um, when you're throwing it, you point it in the direction that it's supposed to be going. Um, and that's something that you think about before you do it, even if it's you know so ingrained in you that you're not actually consciously thinking about it. Your body is doing that. You have that muscle memory. You're pointing in the direction it needs to go. So you want to point your book in the direction it needs to go by figuring out how it's going to work for your brand. Um, and one of the best things you can do is step back and say, what what does my brand do? What is it that my brand, my company, my business, whatever you want to refer to it as, what is it that it, it does for people? And what kind of feeling do they get when they've read, you know, when they've worked with me, what kind of feeling do I want them to take away whenever they do um, coaching, when they hear me speak, whenever they join me for an event or a workshop, whatever it is that you're doing, because you want the same sort of thing to come across in the book. You want the book to work with the brand. Um, so your book needs to balance with the other things that you're doing. So people are getting you here and it's the same you that they're getting over here. Um, if they're getting this really loud, rambunctious person at workshops and they're loving all of that, you don't want to come over here to your book and be whispering. Okay. You don't want to come over here and be this gentle soul. That's just, you know, relaxing and, you know, come meditate with me. If that's not you at your events, then you're going to be doing yourself a disservice because you have two different things going on. Um, be yourself everywhere. So, you know, step back and say, what is it that my brand is getting across to people? How do they feel? What is the overarching, you know, vibe for my brand? And you want to accomplish that with the book too. And then of course, there are other important questions you can ask, like one of my favorites, which is what book did I need when I was going through the same thing? So if you went through some sort of a challenge, what book do you wish you had? when you were going through that challenge, because that's going to dictate what kind of book you're writing. It's really going to adjust um, who you're talking to because you're talking to yourself. Um, and that's going to be important too, because hopefully you like yourself and you'll be able to attract more people who you like, because they will have some of those same sort of feelings. They'll have some of the same uh, challenges. That's what you want to bring in when you're working on a book. And the most important thing you can do with this book is have it be a connection piece. So always make sure that you're doing that planning piece, those questions, thinking about what this book really can be instead of just grabbing it like, oh my God, I have uh, all these things already written. I'm just going to jam them all together and hope for the best. You don't have to do that. You really can sit down and write something from scratch. Um, of course, if there are things you have written that work well in the book, bring them in. You've already written them makes sense. But if it doesn't work, don't try to cram it in there. It's just going to be like, you know, when you have your closet and <laughs> you're like, okay, I can get all my winter coats in here. Um, I think I could get, get my kids winter coats in here too. 
um, I really don't want to have to put those in another closet. I'm going to jam those in here too. Oh, and I've got their, their bibs for when they play in the snow. And I've got um, my husband's winter coat and oh, I've got people over. So I'm going to jam all their winter coats in there too. It doesn't have to work that way. You have more than one closet. Um, and with your book, it doesn't have to work that way either because you have more than one venue to get those things out. So if you've written an article or you've done a video like, you know, out on the internet somewhere like this one, um, and that's not something that's going to fit with that particular book, leave it. Leave it as that video out on the internet. That's where it needs to be. Um, always come back to this point where you're like, it's where it needs to be. Um, it's If it's meant to be, that's how it's going to work out. You can't force things. So I hope this helps you if you are at the beginning stages of your book, you've been thinking about how you can actually get the book out. If you do have questions for me, absolutely comment below, reach out to me at auroracorealispublishing.com. Um, and if you are ready to launch your book, or if you're ready to um, not launch your book, but launch into the uh, editing phase, et cetera, of your book, or if you're ready to get started, absolutely reach out. Let's have a conversation and see how I can help you out.